Hello everyone, in this chapter we will mainly provide some explanations about the quick start of fine report. Before starting to learn in this chapter, I hope you can refer to the following two help documents and install and activate the designer of fine report 11.0 on your own computer. After watching the introduction of fine report, you actually have a preliminary understanding of the role of fine report. But after installing the fine report designer, most users may find themselves at a loss on how to start learning it. To help you quickly understand the basic functions of fine report, we will provide several simple examples in this guide. In this section, we will mainly introduce the interface of fine report. It mainly includes two parts, designer and decision-making platform. In designer, you can utilize various functions in reports such as tables, charts, parameters, controls, data entry, printing, and exporting. You can see the interface of the designer in the right figure. Now you can open your designer and see its interface. This is the main interface of Fine Report Designer. You can see the designer version information and report project path on the top. So, the version of my designer is Fine Report 11.0.15, and its JAR package date is April 7, 2023. Its report project path is the built in project path of Fine Report. Below is Fine Report menu bar. Menu bar includes all management functions of the designer, and during using Fine Report, you will also use the settings in it for report design. Log management panel is located in the upper right corner of the menu bar. Click here to open the log details dialog box. And you can see the logs recording operation information here. Next to the log panel, there is a magnifying glass icon, which is Report Designer Assistant. By clicking on this icon, you can activate the designer search function, which can help you use Fine Report Designer in a better and faster way. For example, you can search for templates or view help documentation. Next to this button is Guide button, a new function. When you click the New Function Guide button, a guide pop-up will appear. Here you can see a list of new functions, for example, some new functions updated in the next version will be displayed here. When you click on Demo, the designer will provide a step-by-step -step guide to help you learn new functions. Fine Report 11.0 can show notification. For example, inconsistency of design environment and other abnormal information will be showed at in the upper right corner. Below the menu bar is the management panel for reports. All reports generated by Fine Report 11.0 Designer are stored by default in the Reportlets folder and will be displayed in this report management panel. This is our dataset management panel. The dataset management panel is mainly used to store datasets created by users. Dataset refers to the data obtained from a database through SQL query. Dataset can serve as the direct data source for report design. There are two types of dataset, template dataset and server dataset. In the dataset management panel of the same template, the left one is the template dataset and the right one is the server dataset. Parameter Management Panel is located above the main body of the report design. This panel is mainly used for template parameters and dataset parameters, bounding controls, dataset queries, and placing the query widgets. Clicking this icon, like a small pencil, and you can edit your parameter panel. You can drag some needed widgets to this position for editing or other settings. The button of Report Preview is located in the upper left corner of the Parameter Management panel. Click on this little triangle to choose different modes of Report Preview. Below the Preview button is the area for setting report styles. For example, if you want to adjust the font of the report, insert images, or adjust the alignment, you can do it here. 
The main body of report design is this area that occupies the largest space in the middle. It is the interface for designing the style of the report. In the presentation, you can see that the interface of the report is actually a table similar to Excel with infinite rows and columns. And its operation is actually similar to Excel, so it is easy to use. You just need to understand some operations related to bounding data columns to cells on this interface, then you can start designing reports. The Report Property panel is on the right side of the designer. This panel is divided into six modules such as Cell Element, Cell Attributes, Floating Element, Widget Setting, Conditional Formattings, and Hyperlink. Sheet Management panel is at the bottom of the entire report design interface. You can add, delete, rename, and copy sheet pages. You can right-click and select Insert Report to insert another sheet in the current template. If you don't want it, you can right-click and delete the sheet. Then let me introduce the decision-making platform. It can perform unified management on report users and system configurations. It has several main functional modules, including user management, directory management, permission management, system management, intelligent operations and maintenance, and security management. Administrators use the decision-making platform to manage reports, including tasks such as assigning permissions, configuring user settings, and system management. Regular users can log into the decision-making platform to view the reports within their authorized permissions. After logging in as an administrator, you can see a Manage button that allows you to perform some related configurations on the report project. Okay, that is all about the introduction of Fine Report Interface. You can open your designer and log into decision-making platform to operate in it.